Budweiser has been quenching the thirst of loyal customers since the 1800s. But while Budweiser was once America's favorite beer, the so-called king of beers has actually slipped in popularity in recent years, dropping down to fourth place in sales. So why is their status tanking? Here's a look at the real reason Budweiser is bombing. Blame Light Beer there was once a time in America when Budweiser was the favorite beer of choice, but not anymore, and a big part of it is the rise in popularity of light beers. Bud Light, Coors Light, and Miller Light now make up the top three best-selling beers in the United States. And the rise in popularity of light beers has come at a direct cost to Budweiser, whose U.S. sales dropped by 5.9% in 2017. Maybe it's the flavor, maybe it's the image, but it looks like the people have spoken, and they prefer lighter fare than full-strength Budweiser. Blame Millennials these days, it's trendy for old-timers to blame everything on millennials. But there's one thing millennials can legitimately be blamed for — the decline of Budweiser beer. In 2016, Americans consumed 14.4 million barrels of Budweiser, which sounds like a lot until you consider it's less than a third of the 50 million barrels of Bud consumed in 1988. That's partially because millennials prefer wine and spirits to beer, but also because millennials are simply drinking less alcohol than previous generations. Got any beers? Perfect! One for you, five for me. And when millennials do turn to beer, Budweiser isn't their first choice. According to The Motley Fool, in 2014, Budweiser claimed that 44% of millennials between the age of 22 and 27 had never even tried Budweiser. And of that group, 15% spent their money on craft beer instead. Which brings us to… Blame Craft Beer over the past decade, craft beer has been giving Budweiser a run for its money. With craft brewery openings on the rise, more than 5,000 in the U.S. in 2016 compared to 2,400 in 2012, the competition has been increasing and the numbers show that Budweiser is taking a hit. According to CNN Money, the top 10 beer brands, including Budweiser, once ruled the beer industry with 66% of the market. As craft beer has grown in popularity, that number has shrunk to 50%. Not good for big beer. Budweiser parent company Anheuser-Busch InBev has responded by buying up craft beer companies. Hey, if you can't beat them, buy them. And their acquisitions have done quite well. Goose Island, for example, was purchased in 2011, and by 2015, sales were up 30%. That trend may be great for craft beers and even Anheuser-Busch, but it's not so great for the future prospects of Budweiser. Blame Bad Ads Ad campaigns are meant to capture consumer attention for the purpose of persuading them to buy products. And once upon a time, Budweiser was known for their hugely popular ads. From the Budweiser frogs to the Budweiser Clydesdales to those what's up guys. What's up? What's up? Recently, though, even the most meme-worthy ads haven't translated into a rise in sales. Against all reason and logic, Bud has been working overtime trying to make Dilly Dilly into a thing. But while it's brought them plenty of attention, positive or otherwise, it hasn't moved the needle in terms of actual sales of Bud Light or Budweiser. But silly buzzwords beats ripping on your potential customers. In 2015, Budweiser's Super Bowl Brewed the Hard Way campaign actively mocked craft beer drinkers, while the original Dilly Dilly ad follows the same formula, insisting that it's not really cool to try new things. This is a spiced honey mead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. Those ads may play to their hardcore fans, but considering Budweiser needs to convince craft beer drinking millennials to even try Bud in the first place, making fun of them seems like a pretty poor marketing strategy. We mock what we don't understand. Yeah. Blame Acts of God Finally, even Mother Nature seems to be against Budweiser these days. In 2017, Budweiser reported that the massive natural disasters Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma had both disrupted shipments, hurting sales across the South. Anheuser-Busch responded by sending hurricane victims truckloads of much-needed fresh water, which, unlike Budweiser, seems to be something people actually want to drink. Thanks for watching. Click the mash icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.